top four coins to buy in October 2023, either to invest and double your money in a few weeks or to hold your coins and make 10 times in the next year. Here are the coins that I'm looking to accumulate this month for some profits. Crypto Hero here, Crypto Bros, and today we're looking at four coins that you could buy in October 2023. We'll dive into the project's details, what they're doing, their long-term goal, and so on. But as always, we'll look at the price charts and see where I'm aiming to buy so the risk-reward ratio is the highest, again, so the risk of losing money is minimal. By the way, this video should be your first step of your own research of every coin. I don't suggest you go straight and put your money into the coins that I'll be talking about. I'd really want you to do some research after you watch the video and understand what you're actually investing in. First coin that I'm looking at this month is Lido Dow or LDO. Again, this is a new coin, a key element you should be looking at for the next bull market, as I said before, because the coins with the biggest gains in the bull market are the new coins. Just want to highlight this at the beginning so you always keep this in mind if you're looking for more high reward projects. LDO looks really strong in terms of the ideation behind the project. It's a liquid staking solution of Ethereum. It lets you stake Ethereum with no minimum deposits or maintaining of infrastructure. The Lido DAO token is the native utility token used for grant and governance rights, managing fee parameters and distribution, governing addition and removal of Lido node operators. And the LOD's price is $1.47 with a market cap of $1.3 billion. And as always, let's see where I'm buying the coin for a short-term trade and as well as a long-term accumulation. Looking at the chart on a bigger time frame, weekly more exactly, as you can see the price is holding above the $1.50 zone for a long time. But the zone was broken recently, which could lead to lower prices soon. As well, we can see that the trend line, which was broken as well once we lost the dollar and a half zone. The trend line, which was made of the latest lows on the weekly. How I see the price movement right now is to hit the lower zone between a dollar thirty-four cents and a dollar twenty-eight cents, and have a little bounce back to the dollar and a half zone the fake out and from there go to the zone from the lowest low where we can accumulate for long term or buy for a scalp trade where we can sell for 50% profit around the $1.50 zone. An important zone as resistance for long term is the one between $1.99 and $2.08 and we can see an order block here where we can see a rejection of the price. Great project here, good zones to buy soon. Personally, I'll keep an eye on this project, not only this month, but for the bull market phase as well. Next one that I have my attention on and I'm looking to take a position in if what I want happens, you'll see on the chart price what I'm talking about, it's Nakamoto Games. This can be a very strong gaming coin in my opinion. We could sell for some really nice gains in the bull market. If we look at the chart, more exactly at the date the project is launched, we can see that it's launched pretty much at the end of the last bull cycle. Taking this into consideration, we can surely say it hasn't had a bull cycle yet. I think we can see the project do extremely well when the bull is back. Maybe you repeat what Gala did in the last bull cycle. The project itself seems like a unique one with its special characteristics, simple and easy to play with seamless types of games. Because of the amount of games, catchy and easy to play, I can see the new version of Miniclip but with crypto features. If you don't know, Miniclip is a company that has a lot of games from all categories that are really popular among teenagers, you know, the young audience. You can see that their site is easy to navigate, there are a lot of games that you can play and earn money. For sure, I advise you to take a look and see if you can really see the potential in the project. Right now, no one talks about crypto gaming anymore, which again, I see this gaming niche getting hype again, but way more this time. By the way, we can see that Nakamoto Games is only on KuCoin at the moment, which is a great sign. It hasn't been listed on bigger exchanges such as Binance, and once we see the project get on Binance, the hype will be real. Moreover, what is interesting about the project is that we can see a clear rise in users in the last two months. The project is running on a Polygon chain. All these factors could lead to a great success with the right steps taken. But what I'm really impressed by is the price chart. We can see that the project was in an accumulation zone for a long time and then formed between the 19 cent support and 32 cents resistance. Another little accumulation and increase by over 200% in price, hitting the resistance zone between 59 cents and 61 cents. Looking at the chart, I'd like to take a short term position in case we break the resistance zone and take the 61 cents as support, then aim to sell around the price of 90 cents almost doubling my money. We'll see what happens. By the way, if you decide to invest for the long term, personally, I wouldn't invest at this price. My first buy would be at 19 cents and buy more when the price gets back to the big accumulation zone. Next project I'm looking to invest in, I see no one is talking about anymore is Pyre or Vulcan Forged. Just by the fact that no one is talking about it anymore, we can expect a huge movement in price in the future. 
Market makers are just waiting for the right moment to do that, and we'll see later on the chart how they act at some time already. Vulcan Forge has a market cap of around $94 million, about 54% of the coins are currently in the market. Its all-time high was almost $50 quite away from where we are now, and I personally expect a huge movement in the future. If you haven't heard about Vulcan Forged yet, it's a blockchain game studio and NFT marketplace, them being the makers of Vulcanverse. Pyre, of course, being the native utility token that is used for fees for marketplace settlement, staking in Vulcanverse land and other assets, upgrading and sustaining game asset levels, play to earn rewards, really interesting. And another impressive thing, access to game developers and NFT dApp incubation programs. Moreover, here we can see what the Vulcan Forge platforms and games include, but we won't really get into the details. If we go to their site, just looking at the site overall, you can see that the games in terms of graphics look awesome, spectacular. Total users on the platform is more than 128,000, and 114,000 on average are active, trading volume being around $2.6 million. Scrolling down, we can see the marketplace, which is on Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain, and VeChain, by the way. Trades which were completed are 537. And then we can see what the games are. Vulcanverse, role-playing games, Berserk, Forge Area, and so on. If you ask me, they've grown pretty damn well since they hit an all-time high in 2021. Another impressive element is that in the last three months, the website got over 10 to 15,000 visitors on the site being in a clear uptrend in terms of traffic. Again, don't forget we're in a bear market, a project to pay attention to here. The most interesting part is actually the chart price, where we see the prices in accumulation zone, making from the support zones over 50 to 70% increase in price in less than a month. Two weeks ago, I sold the pyre I bought around the $3 support zone at the $4.5 resistance, making a good profit of 50%. The strongest support zone is the one from $2.63, where I'm aiming to take the position back, the one that I had at $3. $4.5 being a good resistance and having the strongest one sitting around the price of $5.10. Once we close a day above the 5.1 resistance, we can really see a big pump and then look for the next selling targets. Personally, I'll accumulate the project for the long term for now. Again, the $2.63 being my first strong buy. Last project we'll talk about in this video is Multiverse X or EGLD, known as Elrond, before they rebranded. And with the rebrand, they've actually revamped their goals and created some really stunning apps. One thing I really like about the project is the supply, which is 80% in circulation at the moment. Right now, the price being $24.53 and $648 billion from the market cap. They've evolved quite massively. The blockchain protocol they have is insanely fast. They use sharding to improve massively the speeding of transactions. At the moment, they're doing about 15,000 transactions per second at a cost of nothing, which if you're a retail investor, that is incredibly appealing. We all know that most retail investors didn't use things like Uniswap because it was going to take out so much of their investment, an issue which Elrond doesn't have. Their goal once they rebranded was to onboard over a billion users, and I really can see that happening in the future. As you can see on the site, the rebrand, I mean, is very well done. Lots of technologies they're presenting and methods to grow their blockchain. Everything is up to date. Since then, they've bought Utrust, Twistpay as well. Again, strong and strategic moves within the financial sector. Also, one of the recent evolutions is the super app known as X Portal, a downloadable app. It's got everything. It's finance, it's debit cards, friend chat, and it's non-custodial, which of course means you're in control of your crypto. Jumping on the chart, we can see that we're in a really great buy zone. Could it get lower? Yes, but in my opinion, we're so close to the bottom. I've already bought here. I mean, what I am expecting more to go to $5, I don't think so. We can see EGLD hit the support zone at $19, and from there an increase over some months up to $54, where you can sell the whole position or keep it for the bull market if you have trust in the project. So these are some projects I'm keeping an eye on in October. By the way, you can watch my altcoin tier list over here. Catch you next time.